Hello. In this video, we're going to be evaluating functions with some more advanced examples. Instead of evaluating, for example, f of x equals 3x plus 2, uh, evaluating that at, say, f of 5, instead, in this video, we're going to be doing things like f of 3x. So in other words, the value that we are substituting into the function is not a value. It's not an integer. It's not a whole number. It is going to be another expression, a variable expression. But just to remind you of the technique that we've been using, let's say we were doing f of 5. We are going to rewrite the original function. This is a very important technique because it, it gets very important when we do variable expressions. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm rewriting the original function, 3x plus 2, but I did not write the x. I used an open parenthesis everywhere I saw the variable. I used an open parenthesis. So to evaluate this at f of 5, I am simply going to insert 5 in here. And you guys can probably see 3 times 5 is 15, 15 plus 2 is 17. That would have been the final answer. f of 5 is 17. We're going to use the exact same technique with more advanced examples. So let's take a look at this example. p of t is 4t minus 5. Evaluate p of t minus 2. So again, I'm going to rewrite the original function, but everywhere I see the t, I'm going to use an open parenthesis. But I want to make the open parenthesis big enough that I can include the entire expression. So this was 4t, but again, I'm going to put an open parenthesis here, minus 5. Now, what is the input to this function? It is t minus 2. Ran out of room there. So, to evaluate this, we're just going to use the distributive property. p of t minus 2 equals, well, we're going to distribute the 4 across the parentheses. 4 times t is 4t. 4 times minus 2 is negative 8. And then we're going to subtract the 5 as our very last thing. So our final answer of p of t minus 2 equals 4t. Now a minus 8 minus 5 is a minus 13. 4t minus 13 is our final answer. Let's take a look at another example. This one, w of n is 4n plus 2, and we're going to find w of 3n. So let's, again, we're going to copy the original function, w of, and I'm just going to leave it blank parentheses, 4 times, and again, blank parentheses, 4 times n plus 2. Now, what was our input? Our input is 3n. So we're going to put 3n everywhere we saw the original n in the function. I'm going to put 3n. So now we can evaluate w of 3n equals, and again, this is not a distributive property because it's just a monomial. 4 times 3n is 12n plus 2. That's the final answer. This one looks kind of crazy because the variable is actually up here in the um, in the exponent. So we're just going to have to try to write clearly. But again, everywhere I'm going to see a, I'm going to write a big parenthesis. K of, I'm just going to recopy this original function. K of a equals negative 4 to the power 3, and I'm going to put an open parenthesis, 3 times some quantity, plus 2. And what are we substituting in here? We're substituting in a minus 2, k of a minus 2, a minus 2. So in the original function, everywhere we saw the variable a, I'm going to write a minus 2. So let's evaluate this. k of a minus 2 equals negative 4 raised to the power, and again, we're going to distribute again, 3a, and then 3 times minus 2 is a negative 6. And then here's the plus 2, which simplifies to k of a minus 2 equals negative 4 raised to the power 3a and a, 
a minus 6 plus 2 is a minus 4. Final answer. Now, this one is kind of interesting in that it has squareds, and not only that, but the variable appears more than once. So every time we see the letter n, because that's the input into the function, I'm going to write a big open parentheses. So let's do this. f of, and I'm just going to write open parentheses, equals that quantity squared minus 2 times that quantity. Again, every time I saw the input, which was n, I wrote an open parentheses. So what was the input into the function? This is f of negative 2. I'm sorry, f of n squared. So I'm going to say f of n squared equals n squared quantity squared minus 2 n squared. Again, everywhere I saw the input n, I'm going to write n squared. And this is fairly straightforward to simplify. f of n squared equals, well, n squared quantity squared, using the power rule, 2 times 2 is 4. This is n to the fourth. And then 2 times n squared is just 2n squared, minus 2n squared. Final answer, n to the fourth, minus 2n squared. Now this next one is going to be fun, because we are going to be squaring the input, and the input is actually a binomial. So to square a binomial, you need to know FOIL. So I hope your polynomial skills are up. Let's try this. Again, the same technique applies. I'm going to rewrite the original function. f of, and I'm going to write an open parentheses, equals that same thing, some quantity, squared, minus 2 times that quantity. And now, let's in write what the input is. The input is a plus 2. That is the input into the function. Also notice in this example that you don't have to stay with the same variable. You could find f of any expression. In this case, I'm finding f of a plus 2. So I'm going to be inputting a plus 2 into this function. So everywhere x appeared, I'm going to write a plus 2. Now to evaluate this, we must use FOIL. Or you need to know your squaring rules. So a plus 2 times a plus 2 is a squared plus 4a plus 4. Now, if you don't understand how I do that, please uh, check a YouTube video on FOIL, F-O-I-L, how you multiply two binomials. Minus, and again, we're going to use the distributive property here, minus 2a, and then a minus 2 times positive 2 is a minus 4. Now we're going to simplify some things here. So for example, this plus 4 and this minus 4 are going to cancel out. And then these two terms, plus 4a, minus 2a, are actually going to combine. So our final answer will be f of a plus 2 equals a squared. And again, plus 4a minus 2a is a plus 2a. And that is our final answer.